Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. It's great to have you here. If you've been following my series on adding natural elements to your artwork, I am going to be showing you a couple more ways of adding some rocks, or you can even use sticks and add them on the same way and adding them to your artwork. I'm just gonna be using a little piece of canvas here to sew them to this time. But uh, let's go ahead and get started with that. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, I have my DMC floss and I have knotted the end of it and I'm going to do this nice long narrow stone that I have here. This is going to be fairly simple. What I am going to do is, and this you can do with a stick as well, it works out really well for that. So I'm going to come up on the, one of the short ends of the stone and then directly down from that go down into the fabric on the opposite end. Okay, now I have to hang on to my stone while I do this. Now because I'm right-handed, I think my, my thread is down on this end, so I'm gonna move, rot I'm gonna rotate this to the side that I can work on more easily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to come up from the side and again I'm going to be coming from a little bit under the stone sorry I'm going to go straight across and before I go into the fabric what I'm going to do is go under the thread from the opposite direction that I was coming from Oops. and creating that little knot that twist and then coming going down into the fabric on the opposite side where I came up now because I like it to look the same I'm always going to come up from the same side so I'm gonna, from the top side I'm going to come up just a tad under the edge of the rock I'm laying that across there Coming from the opposite direction, from the underside. Twisting around that center piece. And then I'm going to go down. Just straight across from where I came up out of the fabric. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to continue in the same manner. it that's a really simple way to add a stone it's done fairly quickly and then of course you'll want to knot your uh, thread it's completely held in place okay I have my next stone I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna do first just so I don't have to hang on to my stone quite so Tightly, is I'm going to put a little piece of double-sided sticky tape right on there. We'll see if I can get that to stay there. And that'll just help with you know it not moving around on me quite so much. I'm going to take the flattest side of my stone and then just lay that on there. Okay, so I have my DMC floss. I've knotted the end. And I am going to be coming up from the bottom towards the end. I'm going to be crossing over this stone about five times. 
Now this first one's going to be kind of tricky because it just will want to fall off the end of the rock. So I'm just going to kind of pull it up. Once I got the tightness that I want, I'll just go ahead and let go of it and then worry about fixing that later. Okay, so I'm going to come up next to that one. A little space there. And go across. And it helps if you lay your thread across, you'll know right where you want to go down. So you know you're getting it straight. And I'll go ahead and go right down into the fabric. Here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to come up in two places on the ends. I don't want to come up directly in the center unless I'm wanting to do this three times, but I think I'm just going to do it twice. So coming up at the end of the stone, what I'm going to be doing is going down across the stone like this, but where each time it crosses one of the previous threads, I need to go from the opposite direction I'm going in is go th over that thread and then under it. Okay, there we go. And again, now I need to go over that thread and then I went under it from the opposite direction that I just came from. You can kind of see this. Over this thread and then... Okay, so next one, we're, we're over the top of the next thread and then we'll come from under it, opposite direction where we came from and then just pull that up so it lays across and then one more so I'm going over it and then through the loop and pulling that up okay so now I'm going to take that needle and go right down straight down from where that thread ends now I'm going to turn it because we're going to come down again, starting from the opposite side of where we started before. There we go. Okay, so this, this one will be coming down just parallel with the other one that we just made on the edge of that stone. So I need to tip that so I can see it. I went over it and now I went through the loop. Okay, then the second one. I'm over it, but I'm coming at it from underneath, opposite direction. can actually do it more times if you want. You could create more knots on either side of those and make more of a netting look with it. But I think I like that one just the way it is like that. I'll go ahead and knot the back side. All right, the next one. I have my DMC floss again, knotted the end, and just in case anyone's interested, I have three strands to my DMC floss. So I'm going to come up first through my fabric and then grab my little stone here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do about a third of the way, I'm gonna go right over that stone with a loop. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and... <laughs> rotate it here so I can work from the other side 
Now about the same distance from the end of this end of the stone, I'm going to come up with my thread. And then here's where it's going to be a little different. I'm going to go over this thread and then go under it. And so basically what I'm trying to do is I want, I want to center that twist over the stone as best I can. And then I'm going to go down. So basically I'm creating an X. My thread, I'm going to come up pretty much right next to where I went down the last time. So kind of close to that. Come in. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going on the opposite side from where I came up. So this is the center. I always want to go over the center from the opposite direction and come back. And basically, I'm just twisting around the center. And this is going to create um, kind of a spoke thing. And then I'm going to come down on the same side, but opposite <laughs> from where I first came out. And I'll show you what that looks like. Like so. So now we're going to do the opposite end. Just to kind of try and keep it even. So coming up a little bit from the other one over the center and then under the center. And then I'll come down on the opposite side here. You go that's just another way of doing it and you would want to secure by knotting the back side i i tend to like this one um you know not getting them quite so close right in here um i liked it to look like four separate things on that one so anyway uh you can play with that you can come up with so many more variations of any of this kind of knotting and some different looks so have fun with that more than just stones you can do shells sticks other little natural elements that you want to add to your pieces. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope this finds you all happy, healthy, and until next time, have a great one. Bye for now. <laughs>